Hey Jeff, can I stay the night? I don't think it'd be safe to go outside. It's too windy out there. Hi yeah, John, of course you can sleep over. There's a cyclone going on right now. Cyclone? What is that? How are they made? Cyclone is a large wind system that moves around an area of low atmospheric pressure. It can spread over 500 miles in diameter. Low pressure usually develops in large land areas where the air tends to rise. Surrounding air moves toward the low pressure area and starts to circulate, either clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on whether the cyclone is in the northern or southern hemisphere. Cyclones can produce cloudy weather in broad areas of rain and even snow. In the United States, cyclones are often called tornadoes. Oh, I never knew that. Are there different types of cyclones? Yes, there are different types of cyclones. The first type is called a tropical cyclone. These are the most intense cyclones in terms of both pressure and wind speed. Next up are mid-latitude or extratropical cyclones. Unlike tropical cyclones, these systems are powered by temperature gradients or changes in temperature across a distance. There are also subtropical cyclones, which have characteristics of both tropical and extratropical cyclones. A cyclone can transition between these three types. How are the intensity of the cyclones measured? Cyclone intensity is measured by wind speed, and cyclones are accorded a category based on this. So what should be done and not be done during a cyclone? The actions that need to be taken in the event of a cyclone threat can probably be divided into four classes. Before cyclone season, check the house, secure loose tiles, carry out repair works for doors and windows. Keep some wooden boards ready so that glass windows can be boarded if needed. Keep some dry non-perishable food always ready for emergency use. Remove dead woods or dying trees close to the house. Anchor removable objects like lumber piles, loose tin shed, loose brick, garbage cans, signboards, etc. which can fly in strong winds. When the cyclone starts, keep monitoring the warning. This will help you prepare for a cyclone emergency. Pass on the information to others. When your area is under cyclone warning, get away from low-lying beaches or low-lying areas close to the coast. If your house is securely built on high ground, take shelter in a safe part of the house. However, if asked to evacuate, do not hesitate to leave the place. Extra food, which can be eaten without cooking. Store extra drinking water in suitably covered vessels. Small and loose things which can fly in strong winds should be stored safely in a room. If the center of the cyclone is passing directly over your house, there will be a lull in the wind and rain lasting for half an hour or so. During this time, do not go out because immediately after that, very strong winds will blow from the opposite direction. Switch off electrical mains in your house. When evacuation is instructed, pack essentials for yourself and your family to last a few days. Head for the proper shelter or evacuation points indicated for your area. Remain in the shelter until you have been informed to leave. The cyclone has crossed the coast. You should remain in the shelter until informed that you can return to your home. Strictly avoid any loose and dangling wires from the lamp posts. If you are to drive, drive carefully. And finally, report the correct loss to appropriate authorities. Wow, thanks for answering all my questions. You are very welcome. Okay, now let's go get some dinner. Alright.